This is the presentation of our paper, Rotational Analysis in a Differential Linear Perspective, Practical Distinguishers for Wrong Radius, Birds, Zulu, and Ardet. I am Yunwen, and this is a joint work with Si Wei Sun and Chao Li. Differential and linear criminalysis are the most general method to analyze block cycles, and they have many variants, including the boomerang and the differential linear attack. These combined variants could be stronger than pure differential or linear ones, uh, and they are especially effective when the trails covering a smaller number of runs have a high probability, but the probability drops exponentially with the increase of runs. In this talk, we will focus on differential linear analysis. For a vectorial Boolean function, giving an input difference delta and an output mass gamma, we can build a differential linear distinguisher by a linear approximation on the output difference. And the probability of the distinguisher is defined by the number of right inputs. Accordingly, we have the correlation as uh, 2 times p minus 1, and the bias is half of the correlation. Now the problem is how to estimate the probability given delta and gamma. Often, we split the cipher into two parts. In some cases, three parts uh, with an inter intermediate layer connecting E0 and E1. In E0, we find a differential with probability p, and in E1, we have a linear approximation with bias epsilon. Then the total bias of the distinguisher is 2 times p times epsilon squared. This is a rough estimation, and for a better evaluation, many new approaches are proposed. For instance, attacks on Eric Cypher Chesky were proposed uh, in Eurocrypt 2015 and Crypto 2020 using differential linear analysis with the partitioning technique. In 2017, a theoretical formula was proved for evaluating the differential linear bias, which requires to uh, enumerate the full intermediate mask space. In 2019, the differential linear connectivity table was proposed to better evaluate the middle layer between E0 and E1. In 2015, it was noticed that the theoretical and experimental differential linear bias have a huge gap due to dependency. And this problem uh, it was answered in a very recent crypto 2021 paper from an algebraic viewpoint. So our motivation for this paper is two -fourths. How to extend the framework of uh, differential linear analysis and can we improve the accuracy in the bias evaluation? Uh, before further discussion, I will first explain rotational analysis. We will later show its connection with differential linear. Rotational analysis was proposed in 2010 for ARX first based on a rotational property of modulation. Then uh, Marwiski applied a rotational analysis on Kitschak. A following works uh, on rotational analysis were proposed on um, further applications of the technique, and in several papers on rotational extra analysis, it was shown that the rotational analysis can be regarded as a generalization of differential analysis, where a rotational difference replaces the extra difference. The definition of a rotational XOR difference is to add a rotation on one operand. When the rotational amount is zero, then it degenerates to ordinary XOR difference. Having the rotational difference in mind, what we do next is to generalize the differential linear analysis by replacing the XOR difference to rotational difference. So we proposed rotational differential linear analysis, we are giving a pair of uh, rotationally related inputs x and x prime. We study the linear approximation with mass gamma on their output difference through the side. As this formula should here. And accordingly, we define the bias of such distinguisher by the probability minus half. 
Now we can see that the rotational differential linear is a generalization of differential linear because when the rotational amount is zero, the distinguisher becomes a, dis a differential linear distinguisher. We will come back to this observation later. So can we borrow the differential linear bias computation here? Uh, we tried the first approach. In fact, we can borrow it. The pr previous idea on differential linear of separating a cipher into two or three parts. Uh, and we find good uh, rotational differentials and linear approximations to concatenate. So here is the detailed deduction on the com on computing the bias. Assume that we have a good rotational differential on the first half of the cipher and a good linear approximation on the second half. It can be shown that a similar formula can be achieved. But instead of uh, the bias of the linear parts squared, we have two linear biases here and uh, where the masks are rotated. But using this formula can be inaccurate in some ciphers because we didn't consider the connectivity effect. So uh, uh, we further proof a uh, link between rotational differential and linear approximation approximations and extend the previous formula on differential linear to rotational differential linear as well. Uh, the details proof can be found in the paper on apron here. Uh, this theoretical formula give, uh, gives a unified view on rotational differential linear and differential linear. In practice, it will still require us to enumerate all intermediate linear masks. And unlike differential probability, the correlations are signed. So a summation over a subspace of linear masks, masks doesn't reflect the real correlation over the whole space, considering the cancellation. So we decide to take it another approach, and it is based on the previous work by Mariski. Uh, on rotational cryptanalysis with uh, application to Kitchak F. Given a three dimensional state AXYZ where the nonlinear operation is on the X axis, we rotate the states on the D axis to get a rotational pair. So, in uh, other words, the input rotational difference is zero. The Kitchak F permutation without constants is invariant under such rotation. And the aim is to find out which position has a high probability that the output pair differs on that bit. There are three rules to compute the probability that output difference being zero, given the probability that the input difference on certain bits are zero. Through three uh, operations, the uh, end operation x or n not. Uh, for instance, here the probabilities for the input difference being uh, 1 is B and Q for the end operation. And then after the end operation, the output difference is 1 with the probability uh, P plus Q uh, minus P times Q uh, divided by 2. So with this uh, three rules, we can predict the probability of each output bit being unequal round by round. Uh, we first observed that the rotational dif uh, distinguisher on Kickshack F was a special case of rotational differential linear where the output mask is one bit. Then our second observation is that the probability of the output bits being unequal through a Boolean function can be predicted by the following formula, where in the summation, the first term uh, shows the difference transition probability, and the second term here gives the initial probability uh, distribution of the input difference. Uh, then our third observation is on the effect that the constants have on the rotational pairs. Here I show an example. Uh, to show the effect uh, when there are consecutive non-zero bits in the constants, like here, 0, zero one, 1, constant. It actually introduced a new rotational difference, which is the constant C XOR with C rotated. Uh, we call it delta C, this difference. 
if the bits of that rotational dif uh, rotational uh, difference is non-zero, then we should flip the uh, rotational differential linear probability of the specific bits on the state. And this is called the adjusted theory. So giving an uh, input rotational difference data, the initial probability is fully determined. And we can evaluate the wrong function by regarding it as a circuit with Boolean operations. So we can compute the rotational differential linear probability round by round. And to find out the position of the output bits, that is the most biased. Here we show an example on Zudu permutation. Zudu is a lightweight permutation designed by the Kichak team, arranged in a 3 times 4 cube with 32 bits on each side. One round of Zudu has five steps, where except for the step four, all the others are linear. Uh, notice that the constant uh, addition is before the linear layer. We can control the input rotational difference such that the difference before step four in the first round is zero. And that helps us to extend the distinguisher one round for free. So this is the input difference rotational difference we choose. So with this uh, input rotational difference, the rotational amount is set to be uh, one bit to the left, and we get a four-round rotational differential linear distinguisher with correlation one, and the output mask is one non-zero bit on the 16th bit of the cell one zero. Uh, next, we are going one step further to extend rotational differential linear analysis to ARX. First, we like to mention that uh, what works for rotational differential linear also works for differential linear, just with the rotational amount being zero. So in this talk, we will speak about differential linear on uh, ARX, and the full discussion can be found in our paper. To get the propagation rule for uh, addition modular two to the n, we found that the, the dependency uh, in the carry function cannot be ignored here. Uh, so if we we apply the three uh, n rules here and two x four rules here, uh, then it will give us a biased estimation. So what we did is the following. Using the observation two from uh, our previous slide, we deduce a carry, a carry rule that takes the dependency into full consideration. So given the probability of the input difference being zero, you can predict the carry difference being zero using this uh, uh, ex expression. Then it, it follows uh, that's the modular addition rule for differential linear propagation can be also provide here as this. Let's see an example. Uh, given the input differences being seven and seven uh, to uh, eight bits modular addition, and the probabilities that the output difference bits are non-zero can be computed as this table shows. And our experiment confirms the result. And this is particularly efficient for modular additions with 64 bits or even more, where a direct computation of the differential linear bias would be uh, computationally invisible. Another interesting thing that we observed is that the differential linear probability seems to have a rotational behavior when the input differences rotate. Uh, rotate. For instance, uh, when we rotate the difference 0, 1 to 0, 2, the resulting probability is also shifted here. And this can be used to explain an experiment, uh, experimental uh, results on the rotational probability, uh, probability in the differential linear distinguishers of CPASH and we give a theoretical evaluation of the found differential linear distinguishers there.
Then we apply rotational differential linear criminalysis and the new method of evaluating the probability to several cryptographic permutations. Here I show the application of uh, RZ for some more details. RZ is a 64-bit ARX based permutation presented in Crypto 2020. It has two branches, so each with 32 bits. The structure has only modular addition, rotation, and XOR. Because our uh, previous propagation rules show the modular addition for differential linear, it contains uh, quadratic and higher degree terms. And also, the size of this permutation is not too large. So we can actually use the quadratic constraint programming in Groovy to search for a good input difference, where our objective is to minimize the overall probability for all uh, one bit output masks. And we observed that the input differences with uh, low or high hem rates tend to give better rotational differential linear distinguishers in RZ. And all, we also carry out experiments to compare the probability with the zero to four evaluation. For instance, here we have input difference, uh, this, this one, in a differential linear setting. And the results are depicted in the following figure. The x axis is the position of output difference from 0 to 63, and the y axis is the probability. The statistics show basically the same pattern for theoretical evaluation and experiment. And, and then, overall, of uh, all our applications can be found here in this table. Uh, we found a uh, certain round rotation differential linear distinguisher for the permutation threads, four round for Zutu and four round for RZ. We tested the experimental probability to verify the distinguishers whenever possible. The distinguishers uh, show an ad advantage over traditional differential, lin uh, differential or linear distinguishers, either in the number of covered rounds or uh, the probability. To conclude, in this paper, we proposed uh, rotational differential linear cryptanalysis as a generalization of differential linear, and the theoretical analysis on rotational differential linear is given. Then, a new method for computing the, dip, uh, the probability of rotational differential linear distinguisher is presented, which is efficient by evaluating round by round. Finally, our technique is applied to three permutations where practical distinguishers are obtained. Thank you for your attention.